trying something here probably not the best time to chat because of the silhouette but hi welcome to another studio vlog it's been a week full of like mounting things cutting things printing all of that and it's going to be a full two weeks of that as i'm preparing for markets and conventions that i'm going to have in july um so yeah a lot of work to do. I'm doing some tryouts for packaging for the socks. I already did some new packaging for tote bags. I'm printing socks. I already printed some caps and already put some um, t-shirts and bookmarks and I'm printing and cutting sticky sheet and as always I have no idea how much sock to take but yeah, let me show you what I'm doing right now. <laughs> So as you've seen from previous footage, this is how the tote bags are looking. I did this a while ago, um, but I wanted to just update it with the new branding and all of that. I used to do something similar for the socks and I'm going to print some new banners like I printed for the tote bags for shop orders. But it's been a while since I wanted to display them at markets a little bit differently and a little bit more like professional because I just put them on the table and then like hanging out and all of that um, but yeah I wanted to try some packaging so that's what I'm doing right now so let's see how it looks and if it works so this is what I came up with so this is where it will hang and the sock will go on here not sure if it will fit it'll work so let's try it okay so the sock is supposed to go on here and then like this i think it looks cute so yeah i don't think this has to be so large it can be a little bit thinner but yeah i'm going to have a smaller market um this weekend on my hometown so i'm going to try it out and see if I sell more socks or not because if you do markets and conventions you know how much um, like the way you display things can affect your sales it's so interesting so yeah but anyway let me know what you think it is a good idea or should I try another type of packaging okay let the prepping continue so since this is a more con focused kind of vlog i thought i could answer some of your questions that you left me a while ago when i was doing the cons that i'm going to show you on this video i'm pretty new at all of this so i'm still like figuring out most of the things so yeah don't take my word for it and from what i realized so far like chatting with other artists and all of that is 
everyone's experience is different and sometimes me doing really well in a con doesn't mean that another artist will do as well um, and always the other way around so yeah just keep that in mind when you are starting out uh, because sometimes it might work for some people and not for others um, the first question that I got is how are cons going I don't really know because I never did a lot of them. I think this one that I'm going to show you on this video, it's like the um, third and fourth con that I do. Um, so yeah, I don't really have a lot to compare, but I think I'm doing okay. The most successful con that I had so far, it was in Portugal, which is quite surprising to me. I was kind of expecting the international cons were going to work a little bit better for me, but I talk a little bit more about that. Uh, ahead in the video. I'm still trying to figure things out, still trying to figure out the display, which cons work better for me um, and the ones that don't. And this year I just want to experience as much cons that I can. And then next year I can make like a selection, if that makes sense. One of you also asked what if is it different from craft fairs um, regarding like revenue and the amount of products that you bring. Um, and yes, but I don't really sell a lot more, um, at least from the experience that I have. The revenue is a little bit higher, but you also have to keep in mind that the expenses are also a lot, lot higher. Tables are more expensive, travel is more expensive, everything gets more expensive. And normally you also have to make more products because there's a lot more people going to cons. Um, so yeah, you can bring a little bit more revenue, but you also have a lot more expenses. So in some cases, um, it's not worth it, at least for me. I'd rather do my local craft fair than going to a con, but that's why I want to experience as much as I can. And then next year I can select the ones that work best for me. For me, craft fairs work really well because they mostly are my audience, but it also depends on the craft fairs. So it will also depend on the cons regarding the amount of stuff and stock that I bring. I'm really, really learning, as you can see, and you'll be able to see at the end of this video, I still brought a lot and lots of stock. Um, so yeah, I'm still figuring that out. I'm always afraid that I didn't bring any uh, much, but I'm always bringing way too much. So it's still a struggle. <laughs> So yeah, basically I'm still learning a lot and see what works for me and not. But as I said, every market is a market and something that might work for me might not work for you and vice versa. So yeah, I think it's really important to try different ones and see which ones are the best for you. It's a few days later, if I look tired, it's because I am. <laughs> I got this new display for washies and I ordered a new one for the stickers and these ones are going to be like directly on the table. So I'm going to try that out and maybe people grab some more vinyl stickers. Yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. Like changing around the display can do like wonders i had a smaller market this weekend and i also used the new tags that i did for the socks and people love them i sold a lot more socks than i normally do um because people would grab them and people like to grab stuff but let me show the mess that is in here oh my god right over here we have all the t-shirts i still need to press these caps um and i need to dismount the press so i'm leaving that for last minute these ones i still need to press like the tag here because i press them two times i press them when i press the illustration once and then i press them again just to make sure that it doesn't leave anywhere and it's like adhere to the fabric and all of that and i do the same for the tags i basically stopped carrying and there's like trash and stuff everywhere and then i have all my stocking here and i'm going to start doing this for markets because it's really satisfying to see 
all the things that I did. I did a hundred socks and then I did a bunch of sticker packs. I didn't do a lot of them because they take a lot of time to make. I'm not going to even speak about it. I have my other bag there. Um, supposedly I was going to ship a box um, but I didn't prepare things on time so I'm going to get another bag and add it to my check-in and I'm going to take this big one and that big one. Yeah, this is like the dumping ground. I still have some things from the market that I did on the weekend. I got a new um, tablecloth. I got like a sheet on a pink. It's like a different pink, but I hope it will be okay. I actually got two because I need one for the table and then another one to cover the booth um, like during night and all of that. I also got some clamps. Um, like if I have a back wall, I think in Germany I'm not going to have a back wall But if I do in Belgium, I can hang my um, Banner in the back and this one is just to fixate the um, the grids so they don't fall when pe people uh, Touch them. I'm so nervous but excited and I'm going to meet Jess at the airport because she's going to do the commie as well We're going to be neighbors um, and then we're going to grab an uber and go there, but first Let's finish things, let's pack, and then we'll go on with the vlog and with the craziness. made way too much stock Well, I have stock for the next I don't know how many conventions It's a few hours later, I couldn't mount the earrings but I drilled them all all the pieces that I want to mount and I'm going to take like the pieces and everything everything looks a lot cleaner now <laughs> even though there's still like trash everywhere this is the final result i have two bags we each with uh 21 kilos so they're okay i'm going to try to take this one as well uh home i'm going to try to take all three alone if i can't this one will transform into a backpack but yeah it's done bye studio see you in a couple of days
later and I look so so tired and my face is a mess free because of the stress um, but I'm now on my Airbnb I'll show you like a little tour um, I rented this for one week basically I did Dokomi last weekend and when I was booking Dokomi I was like I live in Portugal it's like on the corner of Europe to do conventions on this side of Europe it's like it's a lot travel is expensive um, and I was like let me search search for other conventions that are going to happen at the same time um, so I basically booked another convention for next weekend so I thought I'm just going to be like rent an Airbnb or something like that for the week I'm going to rest there and travel a bit and all of that uh, so yeah, that's what I did and the convention that I'm going to do next weekend is like super super small So I'm sure it's going to be like so quiet and I'm kind of regretting um, Doing this it wasn't like that my brightest ideas also because now I'm going to be leaving to Portugal in July Traveling was super expensive. So I I'm going to have to go by bus. It's going to take me 24 hours <laughs> So yeah I wasn't the smartest. It's now Thursday. The convention ended on Sunday and I'm now, only now, like, rest because I've been on my pajamas all day. Very tiring, it, it was also like a very overwhelming weekend because if you don't know this, like, Dokomi is huge, especially for artists. So yeah, it was really overwhelming, it's like chatting with people all weekend, so it's also very draining, like, socially. But it was an overall great experience, like, let me just take my glasses because it's full of reflection um it was a really nice experience i got to meet like so many nice people i got to finally meet friends that i've been talking online for like years and i finally met them money wise it wasn't like the greatest thing i kind of was expecting a little bit better because it was such a huge con and i did like kind of the same values as i did on the portuguese con that i did in may it's like 800 artists like the competition is huge um, and I'm glad that people like within all of these amazing artists some people still choose to buy from me which for me is like mind-blowing and amazing yeah, overall <laughs> I was trying not to feel like too discouraged about it and I'm feeling nice about it now I just needed to run like a human again so yeah let me show you the Airbnb first okay, let's start on the entrance so this is like a lady lives upstairs and this is like a studio thing next to the the house the main house so we have the entrance i have like bags everywhere um and then you enter i have like huge mirror here i'm wearing my anastasia <laughs> t-shirt <laughs> um so yeah we have like the kitchen um then we have like a table some wardrobes more bags I have my clothes in here and I actually went to the supermarket and only after I realized there's no refrigerator so I have all my food here uh, which is not that great but oh well and then I have the bed so yeah that's basically it but it's really comfy and quiet and I also have like access to the garden, which is really cute. Yesterday I had like, oh my God, it was such a huge spider. I'm going to try like spoiler um, and attention and warning for like a huge spider. I'm going to put a photo over here somewhere. I'm like scared of spiders. I'm so terrified of spiders. Um, it wasn't the greatest experience and it took me like more than one hour to took it out. It was so bad. Um, yeah, I was managed to take care of that. I think now that I'm feeling like a human again, I'm going to get on the tram, I'm going to get to the city center, walk a little bit and maybe go onto a coffee shop and work a bit. So yeah, let's go. I've actually been here before in 2017. This was my first solo trip. It was to Belgium, so it's nice to be back. I want to get a book because I'm tired of reading on my phone, so let's go to a bookshop.
day I'm waiting for my Uber. I'm really self-conscious about my face right now because my acne, it's been the worst because I'm stressed. Um, so yeah, please ignore my face. Um, I'm going to set up for the convention this weekend. I'm trying to find the energy and the will to go there and mount. Um, so I'm going to try my best to film a little bit for you. So see you in a bit. I'm just packing the bags and this is how it looks this is how it looks from like day to night just to, you know protect everything I'll show you the full table tomorrow but yeah you can still access from the back but still with a little towel it's a little bit more protected I also managed to put my tapestry in here, but I'm not sure if I'll leave it or not. We'll see tomorrow. Bye, table. of the convention I'm walking in the park today Sunday and there wasn't a lot of buses and stuff so it was faster for me to walk I'm going to go to the supermarket first because I need some snacks if you do conventions take a lot of snacks drinks water <laughs> slower conventions it's a really nice way to pass the time so yeah, I'm just going to the supermarket and then we're going to the last day of the con. It's actually going way better than I was expecting because it's like a smaller con. But yesterday it went better than my first day at Okomi. 
and the Komi has like 150,000 attendees. And yeah, I'll catch up with you during the day. Let's go! <music> day two I'm leaving Belgium tomorrow um, I made some friends during the convention so I'm going to have dinner with them tomorrow I have the bus at 11 and then a four-hour drive until Paris I'm going to meet with a friend hi Salma and I'm going to stay there for two hours and then I catch the direct bus to Portugal it's going to be 24 hours from Paris to my home exactly was a nice con profit wise it wasn't that much but everyone was super nice and it was fun to have like my first con in Belgium really pleased with it I'm glad that I stayed like the extra week I'll catch up with you tomorrow during the trip I'm going to film a little bit of my trip home and then I'll just gather all my thoughts um, when I reach home or the studio because right now I'm feeling a bit tired so yeah see you in a bit I hate packing one of the bags the floor it's like a mess <laughs> so yeah I guess I know what is the <laughs> to do for today so yeah I'm going to clean it up leave it a little less messy it's now Friday it's a lot of days later but I was so tired from the travel and also the travel bag oh my god <laughs> I'll switch with you once everything is cleaned <laughs> smells like closed room in here and my plant is almost dead sorry plant
almost no washes look <laughs> from the tea that I came back with. I totally forgot to do an outro for this video and chat a little bit more about the cons and my experience so I really wanted to chat a little bit more about it overall I think I had a nice experience and I believe I already chat a little bit more about that um, in the video but yeah I, it was amazing to be like meeting with other artists meeting new artists but also artists that I've been chatting for so long and finally meeting them um, in like real life and stuff like that. It was really cool to also do international markets and see the difference in the um, products that I was selling because mostly I was selling like the designs for socks, stickers and all of that. Um, designs that I don't usually sell a lot of in Portugal. So it was really cool to see the difference in that. Um, so yeah, basically to return for that chat about the things and the amount of stock you should bring, you never know because some products that you normally sell in one market and, and in one con, um, then you might not even sell that much on another one. So it's very tricky um, regarding stock and all of that. And yeah, it's uh, I still can't figure out <laughs> how many stock to take. Um, Money-wise, it wasn't amazing. I'd rather do like a convention here in Portugal, have less expenses, have less stress with the travel and all of that. But I'm going to be trying some more cons until the end of the year and that might change um, because as I said, some cons might work for me, some cons might not. Uh, but overall, for the money that I brought home, um, I barely covered expenses because travel is expensive, especially with um, two big bags and all of that. That's why I came back by bus um, and in the summer, everything is also crazy expensive. So if I'm going to go back, I don't know, it seems like especially the Okami, that kind of convention that the more you come back to, the bigger it will be for you because people get to know your work and all of that. So it might be an investment as well. But yeah, you never know. So yeah, that was my experience. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this journey and I chat with you soon. Bye!